Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Sunday, December 3rd, 2006, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at some ideas that we can hopefully make some money with this week coming up. Let's start out with uh, shares of Biomet, symbol BMET. Stock is in a nice uptrend, and as we can see in a weekly time frame, it's at a level where if it can get past this, probably about the 39.5 to 39.80 level, then it can really probably push up towards that 42 area. What, that's not what we're going to focus on right now, but it is making this longer term bottom just to be aware of it. On a daily time frame, you can see it's just recently pulled back and now it's it started to stabilize. And when we look at a shorter term time frame, like the 30 minute, you can see that it's close to breaking out here on a short term basis past what looks like to be uh, an inverted head and shoulders pattern. Now, the height of this pattern down to the top of the neck, uh, top of the head rather, is 3690, uh, up to the neckline at 3810. So that'd be a dollar 20. If we add that to, to there, we'd have a price target of 39 dollars and 30 cents. Uh, so that's going to be our target is 39 dollars and 30 cents. And the way I'd like to to uh, purchase this stock would to be uh, to buy it above. $39.15. That was Friday's high. So if we can get above $39.15, it looks like this inverted head and shoulders pattern could lead to a move up to $39.30. We'll risk just $0.30 cents and put our stop at $37.85. So that's a risk reward of $0.30 cents risk to a potential of $1.10, uh, $1.15 rather, in profit. Next up, we're going to look at a pharmaceutical company called Isis, Isis Pharmaceutical, ISIS. You can see the stock is trading uh, at multiple year highs here. And it's just kind of consolidating at this resi this area where we had some resistance in 2002. And prior to that, it was a strong level of support back in 99, 2000, 2001. So it's just kind of a psychologically important number. But when we look at the daily time frame, you can see that it's, it must have had some big news in here because it had this one gap higher, consolidated a day, then had another big gap higher which people took the opportunity to sell into. Now, it didn't hold above that rising 10-day moving average, but now the 20 days does seem to be uh, holding as some support. Friday, it started to get going a little bit in the afternoon, but what I think we can do is see a, a pullback down to $10.30, and then we'll buy it above 1040. So let's buy it above 1040 after a pullback to 1030. We'll put our stop at $10.12 just below this higher low. And our target is going to be $11.40, which gives us a nice dollar uh, target away. And, and I, I come up with that uh, based on the VWAP since the gap. So the average price since that stock is gapped up is that uh, is right around that area at $11 and actually, I guess I had it wrong, $11.60. We'll just continue to make our target though eleven forty and say we've got a potential for a dollar upside and a risk of twenty-eight cents. Uh, PGNX is the symbol for Progenix Pharmaceuticals, so another pharmaceutical company. And it, the, you know the pharmaceuticals are pretty strong here, but Progenix here when we look at a weekly time frame, it's up to an area where it's had a little bit of trouble earlier in the year near that $30 area. But heck, just to move up to 30 bucks a share would be a nice move. Uh, anyways, we're going to look for actually just $29 on the upside. But look at this longer term base in here too. Looking at the daily time frame, you can see uh, that you know it's pulled back close to that 20 day moving average. We saw some nice increase in volume on Friday. But it got a little bit ahead of itself, I think. So what we want to see here is a pullback to $27.50. Once it pulls back to $27.50, I then want to buy the stock above $27.65. That's the way I'm planning on playing the stock. My stop would then go just below this level here, $27.30. So we'd have about $0.35 cents of risk. And the target's just going to be pretty conservative at $29 a share. But that's $1.35 away for $0.30 cents risk. I think it makes sense. Sirius Satellite, this is a uh, stock that a lot of people hate. Uh, and, you know, I, whether you hate it or love it is irrelevant. It does tend to get some end-of-the-year rallies the last couple of years. And now it's looking set up like it might this year as well. It's been kind of c consolidating under this 200-day moving average. We saw an increase in volume four weeks ago as it broke up here. And now last week we had bigger volume again. You can see on that daily time frame where that 200-day moving average is coming down right in there. And we've got... Increasing volume on the way up, followed by low volume on the uh, consolidations. 
big volume on this little spike here, followed by diminished volume, and it starts to pick up that volume once again in here. So I think it's building for a break. And what I'd like to see happen, let's take a look at the 30-minute time frame. We can see these you know, big volume moves in here a little bit more clearly as well, and then how the volume just completely dries up. So this is telling us that there's some big buyers, big activity going on in there. Here's another big spike. But what I want to do is I want to buy this stock. I'm going to bid for it at $4.22. I'm going to buy it on a slight pullback. So once I'm in the stock, I'm going to put my stop at $4.13. That's just $0.09 cents risk. And the target is going to be $4.70 a share. So risking $0.09 cents for a potential to make $0.48. Cents. $0.48 cents doesn't sound like much, but on percentage-wise, it's a great move. So keep your eye on Sirius tomorrow. Crane Company, symbol CR, if we look at the weekly time frame, it looks like the stock's breaking down, and maybe it's going to head down towards the $36 level is what I'm thinking. So that's going to be our price target uh, is $36 a share. And the way I'd like to participate on this one uh, from the short side is to sell it short below $37.25. So below this level right here, below $37.25, I'm going to look to sell the stock short. My stop would then go just above these highs. I'd put my stop at about $37.65. And looking for it to drop down to $36, that would give us a price target of about $1.25 away for a risk of $0.40. Cents. Uh, lastly, we looked at Teva Pharmaceutical on Friday. It didn't play. Uh, it didn't it t give us our entry, that is. So we want to sell this short below 31.95. The stop would go at 32.22. Target is $30.50, so that's risking 27 cents for the potential, hopefully, to make about $1.45 in TEVA.